Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Canalville where we are going to be working on our new airport area and I'm actually super excited about it. Um, I did want to jump into a few things that I did off camera. So I went ahead and changed this bridge. I'd gotten a comment about the sheer size of the one that we had there. I was like looking at the airway and I was like, you know what? It is rather large because it was on this island right here. And so I decided to put in this red one. I really like it. I actually put lights on it too. And so I think it looks really good. I'm going to show a night view here in a little bit. I created a little better access for this. So I made this road that's looping around only able to go right. So now nobody can turn left here, which I think is just fantastic. But then I also created a second road that comes up here for anybody who wants to go right or left. And so I think by splitting it like this, we're limiting people who are going to cross over or try to cross over here. And, and so I think it just creates a, a much better accessibility for this area. And so another thing I did, I went ahead and added in that Y junction over here. I was going to show it on camera, but honestly, these things are super easy to make. I did want to jump into a few quick tips whenever doing these. Um, one of the goals with doing interchanges is to make make it so that people have to break as little as possible. And that's one of the reasons why they end up being so big, because so many cars end up coming through the interchange. You want to have your flyovers or fly unders or change lanes be as long or wide or sweeping as they need to be without having to force people to break. And what I mean by that is, so if you end up doing really short segments, what happens is you have cars that are needing to weave too quickly and it can actually create a dangerous scenario. And so you want to try to have your uh, your flyovers start pretty far back and then have them loop around. And it's just one of the easy ways to ensure road safety as well as getting people through the interchange as quickly as possible. And so I did end up putting a bridge here too. Um, it's kind of funny after placing it, I'm like, you know, it, it kind of looks oriental almost, um, but I think it looks good. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. I might end up switching it over to another suspension bridge. I did play around with this for a little bit. So I did this little um, island for the for the pylon. And then I started to do this one. But I think we're going to be playing with this for a little bit. Um, I'd gotten a comment saying that we should turn this into an industrial island. And I thought that it was just going to be such a great idea. Um, especially with all the trees, we can do some forestry here. And then we can also put in some cargo terminals. And I think it's going to be a really great location to help support this area as well as that area area and so I'm excited about it. I did also put in a small trash compound over here. We were having some trash issues downtown related to um, just access. Um, we do have a trash facility over here and then we do have a trash facility over here and then we do have a trash facility over here but they're all kind of having a hard time getting to downtown and so we were trying to we were starting to have some issues with this and so you can kind of see all these darker colored buildings it's just where the trash isn't being picked up as quickly and so i decided to put in that little transfer facility to help alleviate some of the problems it's kind of funny we had some flooding issues on the last episode and um, we don't have an emergency service building here, and so we have no way to rebuild that. So I wanted to kind of jump over here and build one of those real quick. So we're going to come in here, go to emergency services, then go to disaster services, and we want to do a disaster response unit, and this building is pretty large. So I think what we're going to do is move this helicopter depot right here. So then we are going to delete this and then let's go ahead and put in that disaster relief service right on the back side. I could do it on that side. I'm going to put it on the main road because these um, do have quite a bit of trucks that come out whenever you have an issue. I do want to put water pipes in here real quick. You can already see all the trucks just zooming out, trying to make it over to that area that had that problem. That's kind of funny. Our, um, I didn't realize our cable cars were that close. We definitely don't want cable cars going into that. We want to make sure that the cable cars are safe. And it looks like they are. And so now let's go ahead and jump over here. So I'd gotten a comment from one of my lo more loyal commenters. V5VV mentioning our lack of services to the airport. And so I actually got some pretty fun little uh, helicopter service buildings off the steam workshop. So it actually looks like a hangar, but it has a helicopter stand off the side. And I just think it is fantastic. And I think what we're going to do is put it over here. And I really like that. I kind of wish they were a little bit bigger, but I think it's going to work out for our area. I did end up getting one for our medical as well. So I'm going to grab this, put that right there. Nice. I think these are just great facilities. And so I think what we'll do now is put a couple more plane stands next to it. And so we will come up over here and just connect this up like right there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to fill this in with concrete real quick and then do our fence around just to kind of block it off again. And there we go. Fence in. And now we have emergency services. And I really like them. I, th I think those look great. I do wish they were a little bit bigger, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, I do think they blend in really nicely with this airport. And so I'm glad that we got them in. I think the parked airports look good too. 
All right, and so because of the size of our airport, we are going to run into issues with, it's kind of funny, this has garbage issues too, and we have a garbage facility right there. We're going to run into issues with um, being able to level this up to level three. I was hoping to get the cargo terminal in over there, but I think for right now, we're just going to leave it empty because I do want to get a cargo terminal over there. I think this is going to be a great fit for it, um, but we're just not going to work on it right now. We really have limited space. And we do need to upgrade this uh, quite a bit with attractiveness. And so I think what we'll do is we will wait until we start working on our bigger international airport over here. And then we'll end up coming back and doing a cargo terminal. I think it's going to end up working out. And so I did end up connecting this up to the airport. I wanted to provide a little bit of back access to this as well. Um, I connected it up to this loop. And so what we're going to be working on today is these two islands, possibly even this third one over here. And the idea is to do a fishing wharf off of these two fronts. And then I want to do a fish market, some residential office space, um, commercial, and really make it into a nice area. And so first off, what I would like to do is jump in here, go to tram roads, and we are going to create a road. I'm going to have it come up over here, turn, go over the canal, and then come up over here. All right, and so I got that road in. And so now what I want to do is jump in here, and we're going to go to a two-lane road. And I want to go ahead, you know what, let's actually put in our fishing harbors first. So let's jump in here. Let's turn this on so we can see what kind of fish we're dealing with. So it looks like we have anchovy, salmon, a little bit of salmon over here, and then a ton of shellfish. And I think the fish is regulated based off of the depth of the water. So we could even go in here and kind of mess around with the heights and create a larger salmon area if we wanted to. But I think we're going to go ahead and work with this right now. So I'm going to place down some anchovy fishing harbors first. We're going to go all the way over here, place that down. And then what I'm hoping to do is basically have these butt up right next to each other. And right there is good. Perfect. And so now I'm going to jump into the network multi-tool, go to unlock segment, and I'm going to click all of these, hopefully just once. Go like this, go like this, go like this. And what that allows me to do is come in here and delete that road because I, I want to put these right next to each other and the in-game tool doesn't allow you to do that. And so now we're going to come up over here and we are going to bring this all the way down. And I want to create some really fun spaces in here. I want to make it very walkable. I think we're going to do some bike paths. I want to do a little bit of a plaza and I want to make sure that we have nice trails access and so a couple things that I remember from Portland and from San Francisco is you have a good mix of like high-rise condos um, commercial um, it's normally mixed use so you would have a bunch of shops on the bottom floor and stuff like that unfortunately we don't have actual mix mixed use in this game and so we're gonna have to try to mimic it with just um, zoning them in kind of plopping them around and so what I want to do is create a separation and we kind of did it on the other side we are going to come up over here and we're going to connect that up and then I think we're going to have a road branch off from right here and connect up over here and I think we're going to do a tram road. So I'm going to use the picker mod, grab that, come up over here, and we are going to go right here and have it come across. I want to turn on snapping so I can get that nice 90 degree angle if I can. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. It's going to kind of bother me, but I think that's probably the best we're going to get. I am going to upgrade these to regular bridge pieces. I don't really want that um that weird kind of above ground thing. And then we do need to move our poor fire department over here. It just had a building being built on top of it. That would not be good. So we're going to go like that. And then now what I'm going to do, we need to raise up this bridge just a smidge so that we can get on. Oh, it looks like we got. So I'm going to move this node back. And then what I'm going to do is jump in here and create a second node. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want the bridge to be only up in the middle. So we're going to go like this. And the goal here is to create enough space for people to walk over here. And so it does look like we need to move this back just a smidge. We'll go like right there. And you know what? Maybe we'll even, I thought I could get away with it with that node, but we'll get rid of that because it looks like it just wasn't going to work. This on this side lo looks pretty good. And we actually have a little more space to move this back. And there we go. And so now we have not impeded any of the walking underneath, which is fantastic. We want to make sure that that pedestrian access stays good. It's kind of funny. We have all these people turning down here when we really have nothing going on down here yet. Um, and so I do want to connect this up. We're going to go like this. And I would prefer that to actually be straight. So I think we're going to get rid of that. Jump back in there. Grab that road. And then come across. I think we're going to go down. Yeah, there we go. Nice little 90. I think that is fantastic. And then just because I know a lot of these cars are craving freeway access, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in a interchange right here real quick. And here we go. After uh, finagling with it for quite a while, I initially did a regular interchange or regular uh, on-ramp, off-ramp kind of thing. And the grading was just a little too extreme. And so I needed to do something that was a little farther back. Because of its proximity to this waterway, we really needed the bridges to be a little bit taller to allow for 
future uses. Like if we were to create this, turn this into a shipping corridor, we needed them to be of a certain height. And so it was kind of an issue. Um, I did end up getting them quite a bit less. I believe our grading on this one now is like, a, yeah, so four. I mean, that's still a lot like for semis. Um, they would definitely have an issue like this is 5% as well or five degrees. That's that's a lot. And so these would still not be as safe as probably in real life. They would probably um, figure out an even better scenario or even move this somewhere else. Or I mean, we could do a loop around, but I think this is going to work for our purpose. And so um, I think we're just going to roll with it. And so now let's jump back over here and we are going to jump back into a one unit road. We're going to come all the way over here and I want to continue on our little segment over here so we're going to come up over here and i think we're going to turn and i think we're going to put the fish market right here and i want to create a nice little curve in here so we are going to grab this we are going to come this way and i think we're going to go straight and there we go i think that looks pretty good i think we may even connect this up right there even though it's not entirely necessary it does complete a little bit of a grid for us helps to create a little more accessibility i really like this i like that we did the gap in there i think this is going to be fantastic i do i do want to create a couple little connections in here here though so we're gonna go like that we'll probably even come down and go like that just because we can we're gonna put our fish marker right there so i'm not super worried about that we're gonna jump back over into a two unit road we're gonna come up this way and we're gonna follow that key wall around and there we go i think this is gonna look great i'm like super excited about this so we're gonna come this way and fantastic look at that we got a nice little area all right and so for this middle section what i want to do is just create a couple rows of zoning i think we are going to put some space in the middle though because i want to do some trees so i think we'll probably just do that i want to put trees in the middle and put trees in the middle and i really want to prioritize that green space with this island and so now let's go ahead and cut this across and then i think we may even just go like that i think that looks pretty good and then let's connect this up so we will come up over here and having these junctions this close is not the greatest, but because we're doing residential in here, um, it's not going to be the end of the world. And so now let's jump over here. We're going to go to fish market and let's go ahead and place this down. So not the fish factory. We're going to put the fish factory on the other side. You know, we'll put it right there, right on the edge. Maybe we'll even turn it. I think that could be good. So come up over here. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks even better. And then I do want to do a couple of warehouses as well. One of the things with the fish market is it creates commercial zoned goods. And so you actually don't um, warehouse fish or anything like that. It's literally just commercial zoned goods and you get them from uh, the fish factory. And so this is actually a really easy way to deal with goods issues. I think it's a, a nice little touch. I really like this off the main road too. I think that's going to be fantastic. And so now what I want to do is go through and just zone all this real fast. And here we go. So I decided to mix in some high density commercial off these main roads. I wanted to still create some more access over here. I don't want to get some bottlenecks. But then I filled in the rest with office space and then I did residential all the way around. And I think this is just going to be fantastic. I'm really excited to see how this looks. We still may need to mess around with it a little bit, but um, we'll kind of see as it expands out. So I do want to make this self-sufficient. This would be really coveted land. And so um, I do want to make them a little bit nicer. I did also fill in the space with concrete. This was the look that I was looking for. It's more of, I could have done it also with a setback, but I just wanted it to be a really large sidewalk before the buildings. And I like the aesthetic that this provides. And so let's go ahead and unpause. I went ahead and did water pipes as well. And then let's go ahead and start figuring out another area too. So we have tram access going this way. I think if we do, we have ferry access right now. Ferries can come in here. Ferries can come this way, go that way. I don't know if ferries can make it under here. No, that's going to be a bad area for ferries. So I do want to put in a ferry stop right here. So let's jump in here, go to boats, grab our small ferry stop, and we're going to go like right there. Perfect. And so now what we're going to be able to do is have the ferry just kind of loop around here. I think that's going to be great. We could have also done a ferry stop down here too, but I'm not too worried about it. I think we're going to end up doing a ferry stop over here as well. We could actually put one in right there. You know what? I think we'll actually put one in right here because there is some space. So let's go like that. And then what we can do is go into the move it mod, grab that, and then control H on the key wall. And then let's go ahead and jump in here, unlock segment, and then we will upgrade it to that one way road. Grade to one way and then have it go up here and then have it connect up. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove zoning on this middle section and we'll create a nice little plaza out of that. I think it's going to look good. I'm excited about it. oh man we're already 
sprouting up so much and I'm, I really want to do some trees in the middle and turn this into a really nice area. I decided to do commercial off this backside too. Felt like it was just going to be a really good spot for it. And so now what I would like to do is do a bridge across. And so we do need to do allow ferry access. So I think what we'll do is have a bridge go across and connect up over here. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And I want it to be a tram road too. So we're going to come up over here. We'll go to our lovely four lane road with trams and bikes because I just love this road and let's go ahead and actually turn this in I kind of got ahead of myself so if we go like this delete these two come in here and you know what since we're doing trams let's um let's hook this up could actually have this cut, cut across. Yeah, you know what? I think this is going to work better. We will have this connect up right here and then we're going to have it curve in. Yeah, we'll go like that. I think that's going to be perfect. And I want to go back to this road. I'm going to connect this up. Nice. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. I, I wasn't even thinking about the other island, but I'm glad we thought about it now. And I think this is going to work out pretty well for what we got going on. So now I do want to connect that up, connect that up. And then now we are able to create a bridge that is going to be tall enough for ferries to go underneath it, which is super important. So now we're going to come up over here and we need to go up to 39. And there we go. So I do want to move the little pillar a little bit. I'm going to go like right there. And let's go ahead and do another one on the other side, just because I know uh, holding this bridge up would be pretty important. We definitely wouldn't want it to collapse i think that actually looks pretty good i like the look of it i like doing the little arches i think we will definitely keep it on this one and so now i think there is enough space for us to connect these up let's go ahead and look at it it's not too low but i think we're going to raise it up just a smidge yeah you know what that i feel much better about that and so let's go ahead and grab these and then control each on that one as well we want them all to be the same yeah that looks good now we haven't really lost too much zoning we've definitely lost some but let's come back through here and fill this back in yeah there you go fantastic i'm actually you know what i think that was a great idea i don't know why i didn't think about that before but I'm, you know again i'm glad we thought about it now so let's come in here fill in these little spaces i'm gonna get rid of that block right there and this is great and so now what i want to do is figure out a nice room layout for this i want it to have some nice connectivity we're not going to do any fishing piers right here so maybe we'll do a bigger waterfront area we'll go like right here and then let's go ahead and have it follow the key so we're going to come up like right there yeah i think that looks great and we could even downgrade this to a one unit or we could do the two unit all the way around you know what i think that's actually going to be better so we'll go like this and then what we can do is turn that into a tram road and voila tram road all the way around and i think this is just going to be great and so i want to go in here and paint this all as concrete again we're going to turn this into a nice area and we'll probably even go like this too this is really going to be walkable and i think we're going to do some uh, bike lanes too so i want to um, start doing pathways and bike lanes a little separate and i actually got these lovely green ones i think they look fantastic at yeah, this bike path one way and then two way and and i really like the colors that it provides you like if you jump in here have it go across so if you go up we're gonna go up to 39 just just because and then let's come up over here and i want that to be off and there we go and then we will have this curve in and i just you know i really like this this is something that i haven't focused too much on cities either so i'm glad that we got we're gonna start focusing on it more i think this is a really nice touch for our cities especially um since canalville really does already have a ton of bike access and so this would be pretty important so we're going to come up over here and just move these trees real quick. And there we go. And so now we have our first little bike lane. We do need to connect this up to the road. So I'm going to have it come up this way and then connect up right there. Nice. Look at that bike road in. And I wish the bikes could drive on the key walls. I, I don't believe they can though. I'm going to go like that. Nice. And so now there is a lovely key wall going through. It's kind of funny. There's little sprouts that come through here. If you ever have those sprouts, so you can just use the use this tool to get rid of them. You can actually use this one too. And voila, we have a lovely bike lane. I think this is just great. I really like that. And I think the green really provides a nice contrast for this area. And so we are going to start using those around. We don't have, I don't think I have a two lane bike tram road. No, all I have is the big bike tram roads, which is okay. I mean, these still work well. So we have bike access going this way. And so now I'm going to go ahead and draw in some bike lanes going around the outside just so that we can provide that much needed access. And there we go. So we have done bike lanes all the way around. I ended up doing a little bridge here so that we could connect that up. I think what I'm going to do um, is go ahead and do the same thing on this side so that it can connect up over here. I think that's going to be great. I think we will branch this off right here and have this go across. Yeah, look at that. That's going to be fantastic. I'm really excited about this. We, um, I don't think I've ever done this in a city before, and I think this is just going to be great, especially since it's canals and voila. So we got some bike accessibility, which is just great. And so now let's go ahead and zone this in. 
And there we go. So I decided to go a little lighter on this side. I want to do some nice little stalls and shops and stuff. And I think it's going to be nicer if we actually do a little bit of organic and local produce. So we are going to paint this all in as one district. And then what we'll do is we will come in here and remove zoning off this front side and create a smaller district. And this is going to be all organic and local produce. I'm super excited. I think this is going to be really great. I like doing the little stalls. and I know a lot of other creators do them as well. And, and I think it just adds a really nice look to your cities. And so we're going to keep this self-sufficient as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some water pipes real quick. Okay, and so now we're, we're waiting for these to sprout up. Let's go ahead and place down some services. I want to do, we need to do all of our services really. So I want to put them off this main road. I think we'll actually turn off anarchy. Let's go ahead and do one. I think this is just such a great location for it. Let's put one right there, the, our medical. And then let's do a fire department over here as well. I think maybe we could even put the fire department back here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the fire department like right here. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. And then let's do a police station back here as well. There is services on these islands, so I think that's one of the main reasons I want to put them on this one. Um, though I think having the medical there is still good. This connection right here is pretty good. And so let's do a crematorium as well. We don't want any death waves happening. So we will come up here and let's go ahead and do a crematorium. Ooh, right here is good. Yeah, that's perfect. So we'll come in right there. And then I think that looks really good. We do need to do some parks and stuff. So I want to come in here and I think we're going to do some dog parks. Dog parks are always good. We'll go ahead and place one right there and let's go ahead and parallel that on the other side. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Ooh, and it looks like we've got a little slot right here, which is great. And I think we're going to get rid of our little pathway there, which is okay. So we are going to come back in and draw that in. We'll come over here. Let's go ahead and anarchy that. Yeah, nice. So then let's go ahead and do a bigger park over here since we have some open space. I think this is going to be fantastic. Ooh, we're going to lose quite a bit of zoning from this. Maybe we'll do one that's a little bit smaller. We could do a plaza too. Let's look at the plazas real quick. I think the plaza is going to be a little bit better, though it's not as good as as the other one. And it's kind of funny. We still have those red bricks, but I think they look good. I actually I like the red better than those kind of standard decals that, that were there. And so now while these are growing out, I think we got some pretty decent service coverage going. I do want to start working on this island. So I want to do some more fishing, fishing piers, but we need to do our fish factories over here. So we could even do fish factories here as well. So let's go ahead and do our piers first. And I think we have a little bit of salmon coverage. So we could do some salmon piers let's um yeah let's go ahead and do that let's do just a couple salmon ones so i think we're just gonna do maybe like we'll do two of these because i really don't think there's that much coverage but then we will go back to um i think shellfish is probably good yeah so shellfish and then we will do uh, let's do one we'll do two more because it looks like we're running out of space I, you know actually it looks like we can get three Let's go ahead and do that because I'm really going for that dense kind of look in here and I think this is going to help capture it. So I'm going to unlock these real quick and then now what I want to do is draw in just a basic grid. I'm just going to have a road come across here and then I think we're going to have it connect up because the fish factories are a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and look at one of those real quick. So fish factory, yeah, so they're, you know, they're actually not huge. We could have them go off a parallel road. I'm going to go ahead and draw in a road layout real quick. And there we go. I think that that looks pretty good. I don't particularly like how close these connections are, but I don't think that there's really a whole lot we can do about it. We're not going to have too much traffic back here, but because we do have this many fishing piers, it could be something that we need to address. Um, so I would like to fit these in. I think maybe so we, it looks like we can get two, but I want to see if we can get three. I wonder if we fit them sideways, if we can get more. So if we go ahead and let's control H this right here. Yeah, I think we can get more. So then we can turn this one around that same direction so we'll have this go right there and we can connect up a road and let's go ahead and copy this and put this right here I think we can squeeze this in so then we'll go like that and then let's go ahead and play around with these real quick all right so I think only two is gonna fit I was really hoping three was gonna fit but it doesn't look like it and so we're just going to move these off of the road and then leave a little bit of space on the back side I think that's gonna be okay because then what we're gonna do too is um go ahead and put some across the street because I want to get at least four of these this is where you get all your commercial zone goods. And so you want to make sure to place down multiple of these. So we're going to come up this way and then we're going to have it turn. And then let's go ahead and jump back in here and place some of these down. So I think we want to go like right there. 
we'll go like right there. I mean, that's fair because it's a, a little crammed back here. And then I think we'll do some storage over here. So let's go ahead and jump into warehouses. Let's go like that and we'll do two. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then what I would like to do is actually connect this road up. I don't like having that connection right there, especially if like a boat is just coming from this pier and trying to go over to this fish factory. I don't like that they have to cross the main road. That's not great. And there we go. So I got them connected. We got these ones back here. And I think this looks pretty good. We could even do a couple light industrial right here. I think this would be good. We don't have a lot of industrial over here. So I think just doing a few would be good for the area. And then that still leaves this whole area over here for us to uh, do something fun. And so I think this is looking really good. I like how this is coming together. We do still need to do our fishing routes. So we are going to jump in here. And it's super easy if you've never done them before. You go to this fishing route. And then you want to turn this on so that you can kind of see. So those are three anchovy ones or four anchovy ones and then three shellfish. So our anchovy ones need to be over the orange. Our shellfish need to be over the purple. Our salmon ones need to be over this pink. And you want to try to optimize the overall length. So you want to come down. You don't want to go too far out. So we're going to come this way, turn around, have it kind of curve around. And you know what? That actually might be too short, but we'll have to kind of see. I'll show you guys how you can check it. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in for the rest of them real fast. And there we go. You can kind of see how uh, this is kind of crazy. The lines can cross over each other. You can kind of see with this last one, I was like, I don't know what to do. We're just running out of space. Um, and then our salmon ones, it was such a tight, tight area by the coast line like this last one is really not going to get a lot of salmon um if you get the lines too close to the shore your boats will actually beach themselves and so you got to be really careful but now we should be able to unpause and let's see these boats come out and so let's go ahead and speed up the time too so we got one boat two boats oh we got a couple coming out over here too Look at this, it's like the boat races. Um, but if you select one of these boats, you can actually see their fish load. And this is one of the ways that you can optimize their line if you choose to do so. Um, I imagine that it probably does affect your budget. I normally don't adjust them as much when Sunset Harbor first came out. I used to do it all the time, but now that I do these bigger ones, it's just really tedious and all of work. So I try to make it just long enough to where I know that it's gonna be okay, um, but then not too long. Cause if you do make it too long, then it's kind of, uh, kind of crazy. But I think it creates a nice, aesthetic for our waterways too like now we have just a ton of boats out here like look at this whole area we got these coming through and, and if we had any of our main shipping boats it would just be even crazier but we have these ferries and i think it looks fantastic i do want to hook these up real quick so i'm going to jump in here go to our boats go to ferry lines i'm just going to draw these in real fast all right and so i hooked up the ferry line and i decided to go a little bit further than um than before so i wanted to connect it up to one of our original lines over here and so now i did a line starting from here coming up here connecting connecting coming down here going all the way around to our big pier down here connecting and then coming up here connecting over here and then looping all the way back and i feel like this is really going to create some awesome accessibility for our area i absolutely love this like look at all the boats now and we're gonna have ferries coming through here like it comes through this canal and and it's just going to look really good. I like that we got the bike paths in too. I think that is an awesome look. And I think this just looks really good. I do want to come in here though and do our organic and local produce zoning. So we're going to come up here and I just want to do two by blocks. And the reason for that is because it gives you some nice little shops in here and we may still come through and, and kind of alter some of them, but we'll kind of see. So I think that's going to look great. And then we'll go like that. And so let's go ahead and check out some of the buildings that are coming in. And here we go. So we got a little public market, a little electric charging station, which is fantastic. And here's the little ones that I was talking about. I know you guys have seen them, but Fair Trade Coffee, it's just they're awesome little shops, especially with the bike path. I think it really fits in with the area. And so I do want to fill up this side of the island as well. I don't know if we're going to work on that one today. I'm still not sure if we're just going to extend out the more more residential over there or what. Because I do want to start branching off into our zoo and our nature reserve. And so this could maybe be some sort of corridor. Like I think we can get actual harbor in here. Yeah, we can. You know what? I think that's what we'll do. So we'll actually turn this into a mini little transport hub with the ship access the ship terminals and so let's go ahead and just do something basic over here but still looks good so we're going to grab this road and i'm going to bring it around here and then i'm going to loop it in over here and there we go i think that looks pretty good we still do need to connect up our trams i was kind of waiting to connect up that road so that we could have through access 
I think right here I was kind of playing around with some ideas. I think if we did the posh mall, this could actually be a really nice area. Like, so I think we're going to go ahead and add that right there. And then we're going to jump in here, go to a two unit road, have this come straight. And then what we're going to do is do a plaza with a parking lot on the opposite side. So we're going to grab this, extend this out. And then what I'm going to do is jump in here. So we're going to do the statue of shopping. I think this is going to be fantastic. I think we can even put it right on the corner. Yeah, look at that. I think that looks great. I like it right next to that too. I think it's a really nice aesthetic. And so now I'm just going to throw in a parking lot real quick. All right, parking lot done. I think it looks fantastic. I went ahead and filled this in with concrete too. And I want to come through and do some planters and stuff, but I think this looks good. I think we're going to do some rocks right here too. And then we will come through and do some detailing. I'm really excited about it. I'm, I think we're going to do some really fun stuff. I like that we got these little stalls. We were having some traffic issues down here. It looks like we still are a little bit. Um, I tried to set this up so that people would continue going. I'm not really sure what's going on yet. So they're stopping, stopping right there. We don't want them to stop. This is definitely going to be an issue for us. We need to um, probably figure out another bridge of some kind, especially with all the commercial goods that are coming out of here. But yeah, I don't, it's just all these people just keep stopping. So I want to jump in there and tell them to continue on so that they don't stop. Yeah, you can already tell this side's way better now. And since this is so slow, what I'm going to do is actually tell them to continue as well. And I think as we expand, we'll maybe do a slip lane in there. I think this could be good. So we'll come back over here, tell them to continue, tell these people. So we'll go like that it looks like they're trying to go right so we want these people to continue we don't want them to stop just go on and then i think we're going to give the main road priority here and we will tell them to continue as well just don't stop just go that way we can keep this road going and that's just a really easy way to set up priority especially when you have warehouses like this um, but we kind of already knew that this was going to be a congested area but it looks like it's already flowing just by telling people to continue and, and go ahead and block the intersection if they want to uh, you can really solve a lot of your problems i think we will eventually need to do maybe another bridge across or or maybe a tunnel something like that i'm going to go ahead and do a detailing time lapse real fast and i will be right back with you
All right, and here we go. I think this looks fantastic. I really like it. I definitely, I feel like we definitely captured this inner city, almost kind of look like waterfront area. I think having all these roads going in and out definitely helped to capture that and having the recessed roads right here as well. Um, I really like the road layout. I think it is just great. Um, it's definitely, I mean, if you were trying to optimize your city for connectivity or uh, better traffic, I mean, I don't know if this would be the solution, but the reason why I did this is because I knew that we weren't going to have too, too much traffic. We do have we still have a lot of truck deliveries in here, but because I was dealing with residential, I felt pretty confident that we weren't going to have any issues. And, and you know what? I don't think we do. And so um, I think it looks good. I did end up sprinkling in some of these red trees in here, and I think they look fantastic. And then I did these little planters and, and I just really like it. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I did also throw in another small commercial area over here. Wasn't sure what to do here in the middle. And so I decided to do these um, kind of patterned planters in here. And I thought they looked cool. I, I definitely messed up and put too many benches. I think it, it still looks pretty good. Um, and then I put rocks in here and kind of cleaned up the rest, you know. Um, and, you know, I think we did a lot today. We did a ton. And I love having all these fishing boats out here. I think this is just so cool. And so now what I want to do is jump into night view and show you guys what I was working on. All right and there we go look at this so i was playing around with this idea I, I had posted it on my patreon and initially i'd done brighter lights but i um i decided to take the plunge one of my patrons Soulprax, gave me the idea to change colors and i thought it was just such an awesome idea it wasn't that easy to get the circles perfect you can kind of see there are some areas where it's not that great so i did, decided to do white floodlights all the way around our main island and then I did this light blue in most of the other areas I kind of kind of accented this low density residential area with the dark blue and then I decided to do green over here My, honestly I wasn't too thrilled about doing green for canals but because it's only at night I felt like it wasn't a huge concern and then I made sure that there wasn't going to be too much spillover light you can still kind of see there is a decent amount up here um, that was one of my main concerns is if you were living in the city would it be too bright? And you can kind of see it definitely is too bright. So this would probably be something like they would only do for festivals or something like maybe there was a big celebration in the city. And so they would turn on all the canal lights and it would just be something that you would go to downtown and kind of see and, and it would just look really cool. And so I like it. It definitely looks a little futuristic. We can kind of look around at some of the other stuff down here as well. I put lights on our bridge and then I uh, put a bunch of lights throughout the city. They're really, I mean, the in-game lights aren't really a lot and so it kind of leaves uh, much to be desired like you can kind of see there's just a little bit of lights on these piers even though these bur these boats are just burning the midnight oil and they just keep going and, and yet there's just not a lot of lights and so um but i think that looks really good all right and so uh, another thing that i did i went ahead and hooked up our trams i almost forgot but i went ahead and did a loop around so i had it loop around here stop in front of the little depot then i had it stop a couple times on our main street right here Stop over here, stop over here, and then loop around. Stop a couple times in here just so that there could be transfers. And then come up here and complete. It's a really simple tram line, but it's going to really help to get people around on this island without having to walk as much. Um, on the next episode, I think we are going to focus more on bike lanes. I want to get some more bike access over here. I really want to start doing bike lanes throughout the city. We really only have bike access over here, and so... I'm excited about it. Um, we're also going to be working on that zoo and nature reserve. So stay tuned. We definitely got a lot of really exciting things ahead and we still have so much left. I mean, man, I really want to get, um, we're going to get another downtown here. I have something really fun planned for this island here. And so uh, make sure you guys subscribe. All right. And so I think that's it. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Sunday.